Welcome to Loader Tutorials. Okay, today we are going to discuss transactions in Load Runner. Okay, so what is the transactions actually in Load Runner or your performance testing? So transaction means if you have performed any one action, okay, like uh, transferring the amount from the bank and uh, purchasing the products from any online site so what is the time it has taken from starting to ending whenever you are logging into your uh, any gmail account with your valid username and password when you click on submit or uh, sign on it is giving your my account page which is showing inbox outbox sent mail sites so whenever you are logging into your server sorry with the valid username and password that request will be sending directly to the servers and it is fetching validating with the help of database from database again server is retrieving the data whether it is proper or not so and when it is a correct data then server is giving the response as your my account page so transaction means what are the time what are the time taken between request and the response that time is called as a response time so actually sorry transaction times so actually transactions is mainly useful for finding the response time of the server okay today we are going to explain transactions okay what are the types of transactions in load runner and how you will insert into transactions okay so how you will use uh, sub transactions okay let's see one by one See transactions in load runner. So as we have discussed, what is a transaction? Transaction is nothing but verifying the response time taken to receive response from a server. So server which is sending request means once you log in into applications, entering username password, it is going into database. From database, verifying the data and it is sending back to server whether it is pass or fail okay those data will be displayed into users okay whether it is a correct one or wrong one and it is giving the my account page so whether the virtual user is giving the request to the server for giving the request we are not giving directly request to the server in between different different application is integrated so what are the time it has taken everything will be calculated by the response of the server so that time what are the response has given for the request that time is calculated so okay that is a trans one transactions if you consider for example okay here i have given whether it is a single request or multiple request okay so for example see execution of multiple S multiple sql queries okay in your database suppose at a time 10 or 15 user login so at a time queries will be executed okay if they are logging from different different locations different different mobile numbers okay then different queries will be executed like store procedures so every time it is stores procedures are executing and giving the response to a particular number of requests okay so back end what is the data it is what are the process it is happening everything will be calculated by the rest transactions okay user my account page is loading or displaying so if your uh, internet is very slow okay at that time it will take some time to display your uh, my account page like inbox outbox okay if your mobile is a uh, 2g uh, at that time it will take some time to display your data so that is a run transaction one request and giving the response at that time you will consider as you will find out the response time Okay, while generating reports also why because reports will be generated with the help of database sql queries by the use of for database what are data it is existing database as per database the reports will be generated if any data is missing any unique value value is missing in database then it, it will throw a error message okay so these all all are transactions okay let's see how you will uh, write the code for transactions in load runner okay virtual user generator 
so how to insert transactions okay in virtual users you can insert transactions mainly two times two types okay one is normally lr underscore start transactions means it is starting the transactions which could be a transaction name okay lr underscore tran start transaction means that is a main transactions parent transactions under main transactions different different sub transactions will be there suppose you you want to purchase one products so what is the main transactions it is a purchasing products and uh, in order to purchase you need to open the url right you need to log in with valid credentials right and you need to search for the product you need to select the products as per your need so what are the steps you are performing under product purchases those all call as a sub transactions okay here see we will see one by one so let me see a r t sorry okay start transactions and end transactions so once a start start transaction is started you know to end that transaction in order to verify whether the transaction is pass or fail see lr underscore auto have given right means load owner auto it could be a pass or fail okay whether it is giving response message is a 200 then it is a pass whether it is not giving 200 or 404 then it is fail so this is a normal transaction lr start and end transaction okay and one more thing is a sub trans i have explained Sub transaction means useful in verify the response of sub HTTP request responses like this. Main transaction is a user purchasing product. Sub transaction is debit card, credit card payments, and net banking. Why um, so main transaction is a user purchasing the product? Okay. Once a payment is success, then only user purchasing the product transaction will complete. Otherwise, it get failed. So that's why main transaction is a main. Transaction is user purchasing product. Remember this one. And sub transaction is what are the transactions you are performing. Without that sub transaction, your main transaction will not complete until unless sub transaction should be passed. So that's why I have given one example here. If you have any doubts, uh, please provide me in the form of form of comments. I will explain. I will give you the answer for details. What are the details you have? You want to know? whatever uh, doubt you have on this topic okay next uh, go for a sub transaction how we will enter sub transactions this is a syntax syntax lr underscore start underscore sub underscore transaction okay here how we will enter your sub transaction name first of all it is giving the two attributes parameters see one is a sub transaction name and comma parent transaction name so this sub transaction should be start within the main transaction that's why we have to provide the sub transaction name as well as parent transaction name and that sub transaction should be closed before closing the lr underscore end transaction main transactions okay so this is the final code it will looks so now let's go to my script i have created for my site wikishown.com which is a testing tutorial site okay let's open i have recorded for http request this is my recorded script so i have taken lr underscore start transaction which is a home page means main main page it will display from wiki www.wikishown.com from this main page will display so if you are seeing the script right in next lesson we will discuss about extra res so what it will do and why it is giving the different different urls in the form of images okay js and uh, css minimize css okay jquery javascript everything it will do. we will discuss in next lesson okay next uh, see i have started start transactions okay you can go to here you can when you want to insert you can insert from here insert design insert start transaction okay 
see transaction is started as wikis on home page i want to verify home page response time but in that home page i am clicking on manual testing link see this is a link i am clicking on manual testing okay so that's why i have given as lr underscore start underscore sub transaction so i am giving the sub transaction name and this is the main transaction name if you see here this is the main transaction name lr underscore start transaction main transaction name this could be you have to give provide your sub transaction name and main transaction name and uh, here it is giving the thing that automatically it is recorded okay so before url you don't require to give any any main transactions why because we are giving these transactions under sub transactions with the help of parent transactions and then last you have to close sub transaction first without in before closing the main transaction you have to close sub transaction with the name of sub -trans transaction name which is lr underscore auto, auto main it will give you failure pass so i am let last time i have to close lr underscore end, end transaction with the help of parent transaction name lr underscore auto so here what will happen suppose this sub transaction is failed okay then also your main transaction will get passed okay let's see how it will behave let's check for pass scenario okay okay let me run now my script before running script you have to go to runtime settings this should be one iteration i am running pacing same as as soon previous iteration ends logs could be extended logs so i am using standard log you should use extended log every time okay think time is ignore think time we don't require presently this one not required this one is generate snapshot and error fail open transaction lr underscore error message see move the fail all open transaction when the function is called by the user inside the transaction whenever i am using lr and error message then you know it will call so not required generate snapshot and error okay speed simulation not required browser emulations preferences this could be we can discuss in next lesson why we require this one okay let's uh, okay save your script now run your script i have used standard log you need to use external log let's click on this run i'm checking for positive scenario let's see what will happen this is a step navigator everything it is displaying started main transaction is started it is coming and it will download all the resources what are the resources it is available images js files and sub transaction is started and it is got end okay see it is giving manual testing which is a sub transaction see sub transaction taken 2.5901 seconds and this is a main transaction which has taken 12.08 seconds okay this response time is given the help of sub transactions okay why because sub transaction is under main transaction so this main page in order to complete your this particular scenario like opening the home page and clicking on manual testing for one user how much it, total time is taken 12.08 seconds it has taken so why it has taken means let's show you see what are the js everything is downloaded right because of this one it has taken some time see here home page status showing as pass okay why it is showing 12.08 wasted time is a 0.4024 second it has wasted see duration is 2.590 wasted time is 0.0151 so like this it will calculate with the help of downloading all the resources as well as sub transactions and main transactions if you see here everything it will display see what are the uh, argument number everything it will display what are the files it has downloaded templates transaction started first started is a home main transaction but it has given as a sub transaction it is giving 02 2.5 first way you should complete then it will let's run for negative scenario so i want to fail 
sub transactions let me give for wrong one i am giving g is a missing so it will not find out the what is the link it has to click then run for this one this is for fail see iteration 1 line number 3 it will start here everything it will display elapsed at time seconds it is showing hour minute or second so it is downloading the resources then it is coming to manual testing see manual testing get fail i think it is showing as pass let me show you why it has pass mm. as giving not giving any status i need to provide if condition then only it will provide your fail or pass or fail okay in next class we will see i will i want to cover this all thing so like this you have to use start and end transaction see from here you can see your test result more information is available in test result if you click on this one, it will open will give you everything so let me open manual testing step completed successfully it has open so if i g missing then only it is open clicked on because of cookie this cookie see here it is say the cookie that's why it has open extra as in load runner let's uh, see in the next lesson see step download everything i will cover this service everything like expression everything it is given pass or fail let's see summary pass is 0 fail is 0 pass is 2 2 transactions are passed okay so like this you can use transactions start and end transactions okay thank you thank you for watching my video please uh, provide your comments and like my video and uh, please provide your suggestions and subscribe to my channel for more videos Thank you thank you for watching my video thank you bye